Chatty Dad one coming at you today. Um, I want to uh, share with you guys some uh, information that I found. A story that's happened in McMinn County, Tennessee. Um, it had to do with political corruption and the Second Amendment was the main big part in why these citizens were able to have justice. They armed themselves and went and took the ballots back from the corrupt sheriff and made a proper count and made sure these elections that had been fraudulent in the past were not, you know, made sure they didn't continue in this corrupt local government of theirs. And, um, like I said, this is known as the Battle of Athens. And, um, they practiced their Second Amendment rights. And if it hadn't have been for their Second Amendment, they wouldn't have been able to unseat the corrupt government that they had coming down on them at the time. And, uh, I think that it's pretty neat of what they did. And, uh, you know, and this is really the reason why we need our Second Amendment rights. But it's it's pretty neat to me. And, you know, this is something that I didn't learn in school. Why? I don't know. I don't understand why I didn't learn it in school. But I think it's pretty neat. about that. Anyways, this is known as the Battle of Athens. It happened August 1st and 2nd in 1946. World War II veterans um, helped the townspeople, you know, make things right. Now this has happened recently in the world Unfortunately, it hasn't happened here in the United States. Um, but I believe there's been times that we probably should have we we probably should have took a, taken action and uh, demanded that truth be known and that the right things be done. When the people fear the government, there's tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. And Thomas Jefferson. The tools of freedom. Now, this is what's known as uh, Mexico's Battle of Athens. Mexican citizens armed themselves and they took on the corrupt um, politicians at the time who who were armed major big time armed and the drug cartels and they took their little town back uh, Mexico's second Battle of Athens and it happened this is the second time it happened this is March or I mean April 1st 2013 you know this has happened twice in Mexico and the people stood up for what's right and took back control from the narco terrorists you know there comes a time when uh, you got to stand up for what's right. This is the same story um, from the AP. And I think this is a... Uh, what a neat story, you know. What a wonderful example.
on why we need our Second Amendment rights to remain intact. These men here, they're true patriots. And look at what they're armed with. Shotguns and a couple of deer hunting rifles. They were standing up against AKs and drug dealers and major firepower, corrupt government. I think that's cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just uh, wanted to share this. This is something that I never learned about in school. I never knew about this happening in Mexico either, and I thought it was pretty neat. hope everybody's well. Um, prepare all you can, as much as you can. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck to us all. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. And never give up your rights or your guns, unless you want to. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.